Hello, folks. It's everybody's favorite deliverance minister, and it is Saturday afternoon. I'm Pastor Nate, and I have not shaved, so I do apologize for that, but I did run a comb through my hair. But we've got some content that we need to get up here. And the first thing I'm concerned with, are you born again? So look, it's hard to do that through a prayer, but I can lead you into repentance. And if you will, get on your knees, your face, lay on your back, and look towards the heavens, do something and say, Jesus, save me. Say, I cannot live this way anymore. I cannot do this anymore. I surrender my life to you. This is my heart's cry for you. This is what I do. This is Pastor Nate's passion and compassion. I may be things in a lot of different areas, but I'm not in the way of sinning and double standards. I love people. I may be too hard on them, but I don't want to see you perish, and I don't want to see you live in bondage. I'm living out this life. You can do it, too, through the power of Jesus Christ, but you've got to quit sinning. So say, Jesus, save me. I repent. I walk away from the porn. If you're shacked up, get unshacked. If you're high, get unhigh. Dump your weed down the toilet. Get rid of your cigarettes. I'm not as concerned about that, but it is an open door. Get rid of your chewing back. The same thing. And rot your teeth out. Pastor Nate still got bad teeth and got to come up with money to get them fixed. But that's another story. And not while I'm here, because I'm not here to sell you anything. I'm not going to sell you protein powders, T-shirts, life insurance, or cryptocurrency courses. I'm here to try to save your life, and I feel emotional right now just saying it. Many of you have had traumatic events in your life, and you're in pain, and demons came into your life, and I want you to say, Jesus, save me. I want to be born again. I want to live for you. I surrender my life for you. And if you're wondering what that picture is behind me, Pastor Nate goes every year, we set up a tent at the county fair, and it says, are you going to heaven? And we sit at the table, and we minister people. I pray for them and deliver, do deliverance and healing on them and lead them to Christ. Somebody saw that old boy right there one time, was kind of spooked out, like, who's that, Pastor Nate? I don't know. This old boy selling Jesus, that's Ed Everett in the background there. But anyway, that's what that is. I just put something up there in the background. I sure do love you. I thank you for joining this. We are crowdfunded. We're a nonprofit. So if you want to sow into solid ground, then sow in here. If you don't, you, then don't. That's up to you. It's between you and God. I'm going to be fine either way. All I'm going to do is pay my power bill and buy some groceries and get back here and work every single day. We're night and day. We got groups during the day. We got groups at night. We disciple people. Groups at 11 a.m. every day but Sunday. Groups at 7 p.m. every night but Sunday. I love you guys. Call on Jesus. Repent. Quit sinning. Forgive who you need to forgive, okay? And look, if you got a Facebook, put this video on there. Internet's the most selfish place. Do something to help somebody. You may not have your own ministry. If you can't sew in and tithe, and by the way, I'll send you a couple of deliverance menu, manuals. If you can't do that, then at least put this video on your Facebook, your YouTube. Make positive comments. Give a thumbs up. Do something. React to the video. Do something that might help somebody else. Just so in somehow. And just keep saying, Jesus, save me. Call upon the name of the Lord. Whoever seeks and asks and knock, he will show up. You just come in agreement here with Pastor Nate, okay? Now look, right down there in the description box, it has a PDF link. Somebody say, why is Pastor Nate crying? I get real sensitive to the Lord sometimes, real sensitive. Comes up my spirit, man. And you pull up that PDF. You can look at the words, and I'm going to pray, and you can look in this video. But look in my eyes and hit pause as much as you need to. Holy Spirit, bring your anointing on this prayer. Bring your anointing on this prayer. And as long as it's on the internet. So today I'm going to be praying for you for deliverance from traumatic events that have taken place in your life. We're going to be praying about demons that came in through trauma. I believe that demons, one of the number one ways that they come in is through traumatic events. Traumatic events during childhood and various kinds of trauma. See, I feel the Lord on this one, folks. He's here. Most people... If not pretty much everybody have gone through some kind of traumatic event that has opened a door to the devil. 
This could include you, you know, having an abortion, divorce, abuse when you're younger, any kind of, of different abuse, rejection, abandonment. I'm going to be praying all kinds of different demons that can come in through these situations. If you've ever had any traumatic situations, you can receive deliverance in the name of Jesus. Many times there's an emotional problems or there's internal anger, resentment built up. There's even pain in the body, pain in the soul that has come in through these different traumatic events. Today, every demon connected to traumatic events will be cast out in the mighty name of Jesus. So pre, please pray this prayer with me. Father, I come before you in Jesus' name. I ask you, Lord, to deliver me. I renounce all demons that came in through trauma. I let go of all bitterness, hurt. Pray this with me in resentment. If I'm going too fast, hit the pause button. You can stay here two days. Fast and pray on this prayer for two days. Be Get to the ministry on Saturday. I bet I baptized 15 people in their bathtubs around the world today. Get in your bathtub. The Holy Spirit come upon you. You speak in tongues. I promise you, he's using this little obscure ministry. To save people. My heart just goes out for them. My heart feels tender for them. You can receive deliverance. Many times there's emotional problems, or there's internal anger, or resentment built up. There's even pain in the body, pain in the soul that has come in through these different traumatic events. <laughs> Today, every demon connected to traumatic events will be cast out in the mighty name of Jesus. Please pray this with me. Father, I come before you in Jesus' name. I ask you, Lord, to deliver me. I renounce all demons that came in through trauma. I let go of all bitterness, hurt, and resentment. Please heal my soul. Lord, for many of traumatic events that have happened. And I pray in the future that I would respond properly to trauma. So I renounce Satan and all of his demons now in the mighty name of Jesus. And I'm going to pray for you in the name of Jesus. And you just receive from the Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for my brothers and sisters. I thank you for the listener of this video. Father, I pray that they would already begin to receive deliverance. I pray that the anointing of the Lord would fall upon them and break every yoke in the name of Jesus. I specifically want to address demons that came in through childhood trauma, demons that came in through rape, molestation, verbal abuse, physical abuse, tra trauma spirits that are lodged in the mind, that are lodged in the subconscious mind and hidden deep down in the soul that have come in through trauma during childhood. I command it out right now in the powerful name of Jesus Christ. Arrested development, deep emotional hurt and burden, come out right now in the name of Jesus. I'm addressing you demons. You cannot stay in their body. It's time to go. I don't care how long you've been there. Come up and out. Trauma that has come in through family members. Family members, physical abuse. You just receive. Keep looking at me. Keep coming in agreement. Say, get out of me in the name of Jesus. I come out of agreement with you, devils. Negligence from family members. Physical abuse from family members. I command it out. Lord, your word says the words of the reckless pierced like swords, but the words of the wise bring healing. So in Jesus' name, Father, may their souls be healed right now. All soul wounds of trauma, I command it out right now in the name of Jesus. Self-hatred, guilt, self-punishment spirits that have come in through trauma, feeling like it's your fault, feeling like you're the problem, feeling like you're the one who's caused this to happen. That is coming through trauma. All accusers of the brethren that, that accused them of these things, I command it out right now. Come out of the mind, spirits. We loose the wrath of God. We loose the judgment of God upon you, wicked liars, right now in the name of Jesus. Come up and out of the body. All trauma spirits that affect the body, 
with physical pain and that affect the soul with emotional pain. I command you out right now in the name of Jesus. Father, any hidden, deep-seated resentment or bitterness towards family members that have abused them, I command it out. Any curses that have come into their life because of dishonoring or resenting or having bitterness towards their parents, I command all trauma spirits that come in through the divorce, come out in the name of Jesus. All trauma spirits that came in through abortion, come out in the name of Jesus. All trauma spirits that come in through abortion, come out in the name of Jesus. Trauma spirits that come in through death of a family member. Yes, all demons that soul transferred in after their family members died. Spirit of death, soul transfer from family members. Come out now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We rebuke you, wicked spirits. We pray that the fire of the Lord be against you, devils. We command you up and out of their body. I pray the fire of God to come and consume you, devils, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray that these demons would face their judgment. I pray that they would have torment loosed unto their head sevenfold in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of self-hatred that is coming through abuse, every spirit of shame that is coming through abuse, Ashamed to confess things that have happened in the past. Ashamed to confront emotions that have been buried down in the soul for trauma. I command it out. Fear facing the roots of trauma come out now in the name of Jesus Christ. You wicked spirits must go in the mighty name of Jesus. Escaping from traumatic problems and evil memory recall via sin, via lust of this world. Escapism spirits. Come out now in the name of Jesus Christ. Demons that have caused arrested development in the mind and the subconscious mind through trauma. I command it out in the name of Jesus. Sex addiction that addiction that is coming through trauma. I command out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. If you're prone to accidents, prone to hurting yourself, prone to destroying yourself, prone to destroying your body, come out those spirits in the name of Jesus. I command you wicked devils flee. You demons cannot stay in there because the Bible says to submit yourself to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. So in Jesus' name, I command you demons to go. These children of God have submitted themselves to God, so you devils have to flee. Come up out of the depths of the soul right now in Jesus Christ's mighty name. All soul fragmentation that is coming through sexual abuse in the soul, I command it out in the name of Jesus Christ. Demons that soul transferred from abusers, demons that soul transferred from those who did traumatic things to you, I command it out. All evil memory recall of traumatic events come out of the mind in the name of Jesus. Father, your word says that we should forget the things which are behind and press onward to the high calling, which is in Jesus Christ. So in Jesus' mighty name, all evil memory recall come out. Repetitive failure, feeling like you can't succeed in life because of the things that have happened to you. Self-pity, self-punishment, self-bashing come out in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Demons that have gotten people to believe lies about themselves because of traumatic things that have happened to them. Come out now in the name of Jesus. I command all spirits of trauma, rejection, abandonment. Come out. Come out in the name of Jesus. PTSD spirits, demons that affect the physical body. Post-traumatic stress disorder demons that affects the body with anxiety, that affects the body with pain, that affects the body with emotional hurt. All spirits of PTSD, come out now in the name of Jesus Christ living in a paranoid, stressed-out state of being, come out in the name of Jesus. Demons that keep people stuck in a flight-or-fight mode, come out in the name of Jesus. Fear of abuse, fear of people taking advantage of you, being overly skeptical of other people, come out now in the name of Jesus Christ. Isolation spirits that have come in through abuse, I command it out now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Come out, spirits, loose your hold and go in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Demons that give people a perverted view of love. Demons that give people self-performance, working for acceptance, working for love. I command it out in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. All demons that give people a works-based mentality with regards to their salvation because of the trauma that they've gone through, I command it out. Gaslighting spirits come out now in the name of Jesus. 
feeling like you're always the problem, feeling like there's something inherently wrong with who you are. Come out in the name of Jesus Christ. You wicked devils, go to the pit right now. Go, go, go. Feeling like you deserve abuse, feeling like you deserve trauma. Come out in the name of Jesus. Come out feeling like trash. Come out in the name of Jesus, you wicked devils that project these emotions and thoughts into their soul and mind. You're going to flee in the name of Jesus. All spirits of unworthiness and rejection from trauma come out in the name of Jesus. Self-rejection, self-loathing, self-abuse come out in the name of Jesus Christ. Come out right now. Go, go, go. All demons that cause you to be repulsive to other people because of the trauma you've gone through. I command them out in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you for your mighty deliverance. Father, I pray that everyone who is listening would receive deliverance and receive healing. Father, I pray that their soul would be healed. I pray that their mind would be renewed and restored. I pray that their emotions would be brought to wholeness in the name of Jesus. I pray that their bodies would be healed from the trauma that has happened to them. I pray that they would be released from all pain, hurt, and bitterness. Father, in the name of Jesus, bring them deliverance and let it be permanent in Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord God, for the deliverance and healing that took place today. May we never forget that we are joint heirs with you, Father. May we all continue to walk in our power and authority through the Holy Spirit every day. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Folks, if you've made it this far, please like, subscribe, share, make a positive comment, and above all, so into solid ground. Many of you don't, don't tithe. You don't understand Malachi 3. I would sow into solid ground. You will receive as much as you give and with the attitude that you give. Pastor Nate does this full time. I'm not out trying to make a bunch of money. I need to pay a light bill and buy a couple of things to eat. This is what I do. And I love you and I want to see you get free. Now, we have groups every day, 11 a.m. and 7 a.m. Get discipled. We do more than just beat up demons, folks. It's healing, deliverance, the word of God. Learn how to live by chapter and verse. We love you, and we thank you for watching, and we'll see you at the next one. Bye-bye.